पेज नंबर 269 फाइनली लॉर्ड माउंट बेटन हु हैड कम टू इंडिया एज वॉइस रॉय इन मार्च 1947 वर्कड आउट अ कॉम्प्रोमाइज आफ्टर लॉन्ग डिस्कशंस विद द लीडर्स ऑफ द कांग्रेस एंड द मुस्लिम लीग द कंट्री वाज टू बी फ्री बट नॉट यूनाइटेड India was to be partitioned and a new state of Pakistan was to be created along with a free India. The nationalist leaders agreed to the partition of India in order to avoid the large scale bloodbath and communal rights threatened. But they did not accept the two nation theory. They did not agree to hand over one third of the country to Muslim League, as the latter would wanted, as the latter were wanted, and as the proportion of the Muslims in Indian population would have indicated. They agreed to the separation of only those areas where the influence of the Muslim League was predominant. Thus, Punjab. Bengal and Assam were to be partitioned. The Muslim League was to get a moth-eaten Pakistan in the northwest frontier province, and the Silhet district of Assam, where the influence of the League was doubtful, a plebiscite was to be held. In other words, the country was to be partitioned, but not on the basis of Hinduism and Islam. in the indian nationalist accepted partition not because there were two nations in india a hindu nation and a muslim nation but because the historical development of communalism both hindus and muslims over the past 70 years or so had created a situation where the alternative to partition was mass killing of lakhs of innocent people in the senseless and barbaric communal rights if these rights had been confined to one section of the country the congress leaders could have tried to curb them and taken a strong stand against partition but unfortunately the fractured fractal rights were taking place everywhere and actively involved both hindus and muslims on top of it all the country was still ruled by foreigners who did little to check the riots on the other hand the foreign government rather encouraged these riots to their divisive policies perhaps hoping to play the two nearly newly independent states against each other even jinnah was in the end forced to revise his two nation theory lying at the heart of communalism when asked by muslims who were staying on in india what they should do he asked them to become loyal citizens of india and he told the constituent assembly of pakistan on 11th august 1947 you may belong to any religion or caste or creed that has nothing to do with the business of the state he was in vain trying to put back in the bottle the genie he had released to practice communal politics the announcement that india ha- and pakistan would be free was made on 3rd june 1947 the princely states were given the choice of joining either the new states under the pressure of the popular states people movements and guided by the masterful diplomacy of sardar patel the home minister most of them acceded to india the nawab of junagadh the nizam of hyderabad and the maharaja of jammu and kashmir held back for some time the nawab of junagadh a small state on the coast of kathiawad announced accession accession to pakistan even though the people of the state desired to join india in the end indian troops occupied the state and a plebiscite was held which went in favor of joining india the nizam of hyderabad made an attempt to claim independent status but was forced to accede in 1948 after an integral revolt had broken out in its telangana area and after indian troops had marched into hyderabad The Maharaja of Kashmir also delayed accession to India or Pakistan even though the popular forces led by National Conference wanted accession to India.
However, he acceded to India in October 1947 after the Pathans and irregular armed forces of Pakistan invaded Kashmir. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Do share and subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Study well and all the best for your exams.